three days. Reviewing the back of this cereal box has taken three upload days. I hope to finish it this time. So, as I had been thinking, uh, apparently this basketball hoop here isn't quite um, effective. This backboard here doesn't connect to the hoop, and it is very, very light in terms of its connections. This looks like it could very easily break at any point. So you just jump on here with a rim shot, and then it would either snap off of this or break off of the um, the, the very light um, awning here, or whatever this is, on top of the garage. This does not look very secure, so I would imagine that um, it would only be good for uh, just practicing a shot to try and throw it, hit it against the backboard, and then fall in here. There's also that not that little square uh, to help you. So this is just a very, very poorly made, cheap um, basketball hoop. So whoever had gotten that really should get their money back from whatever company they bought it from, unless, of course, it was very inexpensive for them to uh, have installed it. Then again, this guy, and I, his, his, his possible wife and or husband or something, I don't, the, the Muppet that he lives with pours milk into cones and then he's completely dazed and washes his car while two cans are on the street blasting music and hula hooping with children. So I don't know exactly um, if he's really um, checked in with it. He seems very checked out. Uh, also, I'm very glad that breakfast is open. I don't know what would happen if breakfast was closed, but um, I appreciate that uh, Kellogg's has decided to make uh, breakfast open. Let's talk. Oh, hi, Kellogg's. You want to talk? Well, I've just been doing lots of the talking here. At Kellogg's, we're working harder to earn a seat at your table. What can we do to make your mornings better? Pleasant. Um, so they're really working hard to earn a seat at the table. Like, we would sit down... And rather than putting it on top of the table, they want you to put your cereal boxes on one of your seats at the table and treat it as though it was a person, even though the cereal is basically what you're eating. So you want to be treated as a person that then people would consume for their breakfast. So basically you're just, you're promoting cannibalism. I see how it is. Um, and now it's asking how, um, how exactly it would earn a seat at our our table, what can it do to improve? Um, mm -hmm. I just I just talk about the box. And you can you can earn rewards points, Kellogg's rewards points. I've never done this before. Interesting. And I guess they no longer put the answers on the bottom of the cereal box or on the inside, because they say for answers, visit the uh, Kellogg's game, no, Kellogg's Fruit Loops dot com slash games. Kids get permission before going online. Yes. Get your parents permission. It's important. You don't know what evils could be lurking on the um, Kellogg's Fruit, Loop, Loop, Fruit Loops web website. But safe internet searching is a good thing, so... Eh. Get, uh, can't fault you. I can't fault you for that, but what I can fault you for is doing that as a way to promote the website by not having the answers on the cereal box anymore. Why not just have the answers on the bottom of the cereal box? That makes it so much easier. Instead, you now have to go after breakfast onto the website. If somebody is interested on to, in going to the website, just say visit the website uh, for more games, and then you can have fun there instead of you having to go for the answers. And then what, if you're on the website, you're like, oh, here's a bunch of answers to things that I don't care about, if you're just on the website anyway. So, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really understand it, I don't really get it. But, um, that's, that's the case on things. Uh, we also still need to find the yellow hat. Is that, wait, hold on. Is that the yellow hat? But that's not an odd color. Oh, I was I I had I had it in my mind that it was gonna look like the man in the yellow hat's hat, but I think that's just the hat. They they have a bunch of these weird objects or quote unquote weird objects uh, clumped together because that isn't a very weird object. Hats can very easily be yellow. 
I thought it was going to be like an odd-shaped hat that was yellow. This is a standard baseball cap. I don't understand it. Why is that a game? This is not a game. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, still not gonna be bothered to figure out where all the hoses lead. We pretty much know all of where the hoses go, and I mean, this hose just leads onto the ground here. I don't think there are any suspicious hoses uh, elsewhere on here. Uh, and also, I forget if I mentioned this, but um, it's Try Another Fruit Loop cereal, so they have a display of wild berry fruit loops here with milk in a cooler which i think would probably get kind of gross over time uh but that's pretty cool and there's a photorealistic version of uh, toucan sam on the box which is just um the actual cover uh of the cereal box just on in, in within the cereal box itself so in this universe toucan sam also has a cereal but note how they don't show the back of the box on there, because if the back of the cereal box within their universe had a version of this, uh, because the cereal boxes are canon within their universe and they look like this, what would what would they do if they looked at the cereal box and saw the entirety of their existence put on the box that was already uh, like a picture of what they're doing currently was snapped and then printed onto the box, so that they look at it and then. Wouldn't it be, like, freaky if there was a guy looking at the box and then there's a picture of the guy looking at the box on that picture of the box? They don't- they don't answer these questions. We need- we need answers. I guess we're gonna have to go to the Kellogg's website for answers. But I doubt that they'd try and answer this, uh, mystery wrapped in an enigma. Because, seriously, what- what is this? The box is slightly turned as well, which I like. It's not just a flat picture. It's a 3D box, because you can see the side is the same. They don't have the nutritional facts side. They have the side that looks like this. So the box is turned this way. I mean, the box is turned like this in their universe. It's amazing. But also, I would want these Fruit Loops. I'd want to. I want free Fruit Loops uh, if it was given to me, especially by Toucan Sam being alive in this universe, uh, selling the Wild Berry Fruit Loops. And nobody is really looking at this stand. Uh, he's he's deserted it to, uh, as we had mentioned before, check out this kid who all three of them seem to be unaware of the presence of um, the person behind them, and. Uh, it's it's not good that you're not you're not doing you're not uh, managing your business well here, Toucan Sam, uh, and we also have um, the the bowls of cereal. I know it's wild berry, so it looks different, uh, and they have uh, the actual pictures of the of the cereal on there. Uh, but these look more like um, fruity flavored cocoa puffs instead instead of uh, Fruit Loops. They're just they're circles with colored lumps on there. They don't look like they have any holes in there, but, I mean, that's that's a reasonable thing to draw instead of drawing out each and every single, um, y you know, like, you wouldn't draw out every single blade of grass, you wouldn't draw out um, all of the detail in this world. However, it's the cereal that this cereal is based on. You'd think that they would try and get, if any detail correct, the cereal bowls, instead of just having large lumps of cereal clusters. Although, if I had cereal that were gigantic, like, um, Super Bowl-sized lumps of some cereal, that would be interesting to try. I would try it out just for the, just for the heck of it. Uh, and then we have, um, the, these people over here. This guy looks like he's the father of this guy, or the older brother, or the, um, the giant amoeba that has used budding to bud this this child because they have the same. Despite this kid pretty much being a kid, he has a um, a pretty full beard already. Um, although actually, they're about the size of a garage, the, the, about the size of a door, and about the size. No, no, they're about they're twice the size of a car. So these these small children are enormous, which just means this guy is even bigger, which is freaky. Uh, this guy looks even more like Shaggy, and he's just, he has the totally checked out eyes. He, he looks like he's, um, he's just, he's just like, yeah, man, I can see toucans and cereal and green dogs. Maybe that's why the dogs are green. They're all on drugs. And we have Discount Jimmy Neutron over here. 
um, distributing the cereal, or I guess he's trying to give him the cereal, or high-five with the cereal, or this guy's just like, hey man, why are you stealing cereal? And then Jimmy Neutron is just like, oh, I just wanted the cereal. Uh, Jimmy Neutron with very, very tall legs, which is very disturbing, actually. Uh, Jimmy Neutron should have small, stubby legs, because otherwise uh, he just looks freaky. He just looks much freakier, and his hair isn't uh, fully grown yet, so it's like he... It's like he had... A, this is a weird phase where he got taller, but his hair got shorter. Uh, so I guess he sucked in the hair into his legs uh, to allow him to be taller. Or this is him where he was growing up and his hair hasn't quite grown in yet, but some horrible ha accident happened to Jimmy Neutron later, and um, he had to have his legs decreased in size. Uh, and eventually his hair became much longer over time. Either way... Um, Fruit Loops Wild Berry, you could try that if you felt like it. This dog looks very strange, but that's not his fault. Poor dog, you get you get a, a head pat, pat, pat. This one, the, the dog is just interested in the sprinkler. Uh, there's nothing to really comment about on that. Uh, what else, what else can we talk about? Yeah, the, the water balloon woman. This kid who's drawing with chalk, I, I forgot to point out. So he's holding the chalk, levitating it on the side of his finger here. I don't know if you can see this properly, but uh, the chalk is not being held by this child. He's just levitating it next to his finger. There we go. See, he's just holding the chalk like a C, because he, he's holding this chalk very barehanded. I don't know why you're um, coloring in the blue using the yellow there, kid. That's wrong. That is incorrect. How do you color with yellow chalk and then it comes out blue? Uh, this kid is obviously a wizard, but he's holding the, the chalk like a C, like this, and then the chalk is just balanced on his hand while he's holding it like this. Um, there you can try and, uh, see it again if, uh, if the camera bothers to zoom in, which it won't because Android phones have terrible cameras compared to iPhone. That's pretty much the best thing about iPhones, their incredible cameras, because otherwise... They're just much more expensive versions of other phones that function about the same, and they pry on you much more. But that's your, um, and, and I mean, the only reason we're bringing up Apple here is because this is Fruit Loops, uh, so apples are fair game to talk about. So yeah, there's the kid, he's just levitating the chalk next to his fingers. It's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's unnatural, in, inhuman, rather. Um, but then again, everybody here seems to be high, probably on the cereal. Maybe it's Fruit Loops with, um, marijuana installed. Uh, is uploaded to its drive, but I don't know exactly if it's marijuana or some other thing on here, because these people don't seem like they're very well. Uh, oh, to finish, uh, yeah, we finished up that game. We're not going to bother figuring out the hoses, because who has time for that? Um, we figured out the fruity beauty, and the last thing here is I smell a riddle. Uh, oh, wait, why did the orange stop? So he go, he's like... Oh, giant question mark that he speaks. He just says question mark instead of asking what. Um, and then the answer to her uh, riddle, we talked about these kids before, I believe, uh, is it ran out of, and there are five letters. So why did the orange stop? I smell a riddle. Oh, see, there we go. There's the um, follow your nose, which would it ma doesn't make sense in this universe here because they're talking more about whatever fruits your loops. They're not talking about the fruity um, follow your nose for the fruity taste that shows. Um, so saying I smell a riddle just sounds kind of random, I guess, because otherwise they're talking about oranges. Excuse me. I also appreciate the fact that while they're talking about oranges, the box color of this is also orange, which I think is a, a nice touch. I, I feel like that might have just been coincidental, but I'll, I'll give it to them on that front. The box shape of all these little blurbs are very strange looking. Uh, they're not even shapes. They look like they were trying to make them around the environment, but also it just doesn't seem like it fits to the environment. So it's like, if you're going to create it so that it's at, like, a slant on the house here and a slant over here, why not actually have it even out instead of just being slightly off? 
Uh, anyway, so find five letters hidden around the scene, then rearrange them to answer the riddle. So not only do you have to write down elsewhere what all the letters are, then you have to figure out what those letters are, and then r put them back onto here, so it's not even like it's going to be in um, in order. So you have to not only find them, but then rearrange them. But don't worry, you don't need to figure that out anyway, because the answer to this is pretty easy. At least to me, I was able to figure this out without even looking at the letters. Why did the R stop? It ran out of five letters. So it's J-U-I-C-E. Ran out of juice. Like a car or a battery that would go out because it runs out of juice or power as the pun. Uh, and then orange juice is a thing that exists. Is this humorous to you? Uh, it should be because you've worked very, very hard for this answer, and by the time you work hard for said answer, it just ends up not really being all that funny. It's more fun to just try and guess what it is on your own. But uh, going around here, the only letter that's cleverly hidden, uh, and not very clever, but at least it fits the scene, is the E. Um, oh no, not true. There is another one that fits well. Uh... So over here is just the letter E within the um, the window frame, which is pretty cool. I think that's neat. But they installed a giant letter E on their house. Why do they do this? Why are there giant letters installed onto these people's houses and within their neighborhood? I don't understand why they were doing this. And it's not like it's the letters are spanning across all of the houses so that if you walked by the neighborhood, it's like, oh, J-U-I-C-E. It spells out juice. Um... The, I, it, it seems like that would be the case, because this house over here has letter U put onto the window, which is pretty easy to see this one by just looking around. It's like, oh, that's weird. It doesn't quite fit in with the um, the thing here. This this doesn't look right. It, what they should have done is they should have made the tree uh, a U shape here, and then they have it just a slightly different color, and it's the same, um, excuse me, they have a little border around it. This is a, a freckle on me. I have a freckle on my finger. Uh, so they should have made a little U-shape out of the tree and then have it be tree-colored. Like, like that's what they should have done. Then, of course, so, so the U stands out very much. It's not even the same color as the window, so that sticks out. This sticks out, even though it's actually, it, it fits in the shape of the window. So we have the, the U and the E. The drum here, this is the only one that's very cl cleverly hidden for real. It's actually hidden and reasonably good in terms of hiding. The letter C is on the drum, and you can see it a, you can see it a bit clearer in person. Uh, but yeah, the letter C is right here on the drum, around here, and it, it, it blends in with the color. That's good. They hid this well. I like that. They... That's a much better way of hiding it. And then they just got so lazy with the letter J here. It's not the same color as the things around here. It doesn't quite match. I, I see what they were trying to do. They're like, oh, how do we hide the letter J? First off, again, the tree could have been used to hide it there. Uh, so they were like, okay, I guess we can kind of hide it on this. Uh, but it just looks like a giant letter J floating in the middle of nowhere, and it sticks out very easily. Uh, if you're trying to analyze this, at least it does go with the curve a bit. Like, they, they, they try to have it where it doesn't quite stick out the same as the U here, where they just, they really gave up on the U. Uh, this one they kind of tried, and this one they were like, oh yeah. So, the way it works is that they put an effort here for the letter C, and they were like, okay, I guess we'll put the letter E in the window, we'll have it match the color of the house instead of the window, I guess, for some reason. And they were like, okay, well, this kind of looks like a J in terms of the way that the line kind of loops around. We'll put that there. I don't know where else to put the U. Let's just throw it on the window over here. And then the letter I, which is just masterfully hidden. No matter how many times I've tried to look at this box, I cannot find the letter I anywhere here on the box. It's, it's nowhere. It, I can't find this letter I. It's it's not any... I, I imagine that it's something stupid. And this is going to just be like the grapefruit that I couldn't see earlier. Um, I tried looking at the poles over here. Which, there are only three poles because they stick out of... Um, they stick out from on top here, so you could see if there was a pole in the back here. Uh-oh. 